Hey there guys, Neil here with an Android app review. So in this case, it's going to be a review of the recently released app called Action-Digital Wellbeing and Screen Time Helper, or just Action Dash for short. So what this app allows you to do or what it brings is that it allows you to use a digital well-being style app for any Android device running Android 5 or higher. That's Android Lollipop. So when you launch the app like you see here, um, you are going to get a slightly different look, notably a light setting like you see here and what the app does is basically the same thing you see on digital well-being which is exclusively for um, Google Pixel and Android 1 devices but runs it for other or runs on Android 5 devices or higher so you can see um, general screen time and app usage on those various um, or on your own device so as you can see so so far daily for today I've used um, my device for just under three hours. Um, I've used Nova Launcher for half an hour, Prime Video for um, a, about half an hour. And basically you get that um, breakdown so you know how much you're using your device. Um, from here you can do things like jump into um, detailed app usage so you can see things like um, I've used uh, Pocket, Cat, Pocket Cast for about three hour, three and a half hours this week which seems a little bit low just because I use Pocket Cast almost every single day. So um, you can, um, and it's probably active usage rather than the audio playback, but you can see that I've used it, um, or you can see the breakdown day by day, and um, also on an hourly basis so you can see um, generally how you use your device and when you use the, your device the most throughout the day. Um, from there, there's also things um, like how many times you launch the app. So, for example, today, uh, or yeah, today I've launched the app 15 times. Um, I can um, go to previous days and see how many times then. So, yesterday I launched it 30, 36 times. Thursday I launched it 53 times. And you get those um, various features. Um, you can also get notification settings. So I don't have notifications for Pocket Cast, but uh, let's say for Instagram, or I guess, well, let's take a look. Let's go back to Pocket Cast. Um, 86 notifications this week, so probably based on um, new, just various like app refreshes and things like that. Though I don't have notifications enabled, so that's kind of a weird thing, but if I go to something like Instagram where I do get notifications, so 81 so far this week, and I can go back to each day to see how many times I get those notifications. Um, so from here, you can also do the same thing from your the main screen, so you get um, how many times you launch the app, um, how many notifications you get a day, um, and even um, as far as going to hourly, so you know that know um, how much you're using your, your device and how often you get a notification. You can also see device unlock. So how often are you unlocking your device to use it? So overall, it is a very detailed app along the lines of what you see in the digital well-being app from Google. Um, going into the settings, you can also see things, get things like a daily usage notification. So at the end of the day, you can um, get a summary of how how much you used your device. So if you wanna, if you need help getting uh, cutting down on your app, so if you unlock your device a lot, if you use one app a lot over another, or want to figure out how you can better consolidate your device usage, then this is this app is definitely a way to help do that and um, get that summary of how much you used it. The app also offers a dark mode, so if you prefer a more or a darker version of the app, then um, that is also available. Um, you can also set the first day of the week. So for me, I just have the standard Sunday to Saturday week, so I do have that. Um, actually, sorry, not default. I want to keep it at Sunday. You can set the first hour of the day. Um, for me, to really is when I wake up in the morning, but 12 a.m. is fine. And the one thing I didn't mention is that the daily usage notification of 10 p.m. is good for me because that's right around the time I go to sleep. Sometimes it's a little bit later, but I'm usually winding down around then. Um, you can set to um, use include systems that apps if you want. So things like Android itself, Google Play services, uh, Pixel Launcher and things like that. But since I don't really need to include those, I won't. Um, you can also include digital well-being data, um, debug apps, uninstalled apps, and things like that, which works for me. 
Um, which so I mean decided to keep those there. Um, and then action, and you do get the warning that digital well being and action dash have different data. So if you don't want to have them included together, then you can do that as well. So turning it off might not actually be a bad thing. And then the app lets you save your data to Drive, Dropbox, and various other places if you so choose. Um, so I guess it's just a general backup file. So it depends on what places support um, importing it. And then you can restore backup if you switch devices and you want to um, import that data to your um, new device so that your data stays in sync. Um, and the, but that's really the bulk of the app. The idea of the app is to make sure that, or to help you uh, manage your de um, device usage and basically, like I said, your digital well-being. So how do you help manage how much you use your device? And you get that visual look at how much you are actually using your device and it's broken down um, by app, by day, week, hour. So you get that full detail of how much you're using your device. Um, so that's really the bulk of the app. So um, it is available for free in the Google Play Store. You get the bulk of what you see on this main screen. The main things that you don't get but in the free version are like the dark mode setting the first day of the week. I think the daily notification does come in, but if you want to adjust the various other settings, you do need to pay for the uh, full version, which is currently at $6.99. Which you can purchase through via an in-app purchase, so which I did because I have used the developer's action launcher for some time, and it is a very stable um, launcher. It, the developer is very um, responsive to feedback, and does make a solid device. And um, privacy is of concern to the developer, uh, Chris Lacey. So if you do have concerns and you want to know more about that, then um, you have that option as well. So um, that is really all there is for the review. When you do set up the app, you will have to give it notification and um, access so that it can help monitor that data. But other than that, it's a pretty standard app. And um, so far, using it for the um, basically for today, I um, do like it so far and will recommend it. So that's all there is for that. So in the show notes, I'll have a link to the app in the Google Play Store along with a link to the full um, blog post announcement. So you can take a look at that in case you're interested in more about the app, the developer, or the privacy settings. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can uh, find this review and all prior reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. If you want to subscribe to the podcast, the links and all of that and all prior posts can be found on the website at PatelN01.com. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, depending on how you got it. And until next time.